What's up everybody? This is Justin with We Are Change Orlando and today is a very important day. Today is February 23rd, 2022 and it is day one of the U.S. Freedom Convoy leaving California and heading to our nation's capital. Now obviously this movement was inspired by our brothers and sisters in Canada fighting for freedom, fighting against their tyrannical government and it has really created a ripple effect across the rest of the world. We're seeing convoys in New Zealand, in Australia, in Mexico, and now the U.S. Freedom Convoy has begun and it is doing a slow roll all the way to Washington, D.C. starting today. Now, there are a couple different convoys. One is the U.S. Freedom Convoy, I believe, and the other one is called the People's Convoy. There's multiple routes. Everyone's been asking about dates and routes and all these different things. I gotta tell you, uh, and I understand where they're coming from, I think they're keeping a lot of this information under wraps until the very end, uh, mainly because the authorities are going to try to deter and try to blockade what we're going to do. So try to bear with everyone as they iron out all the plans. Um, there are some current maps that are going up that show routes going across the southern, the middle, and the northern part of the U.S. There's even a southern and a northeastern route. Um, I can post those below this video but all in all, what you really need to do is find out where a big overpass is near you, get a group of people together, and just go out there and sign wave and wave these people off. Uh, you can collect donations and give them to the truckers to also send them off so they are well supplied. The only main pickup donation spot going on in Florida is in Largo. So if you live in the Tampa Clearwater area, you can drop off these supplies and they're going to be taken up to Jacksonville to the main send-off point on February 26th, I believe. So if you wanna get involved and you wanna be at an overpass where there's gonna be a big, the biggest group of people, head on up to Jacksonville on January 26th and 27th. The censorship has been out of control. The largest uh, People's Convoy group was deleted off Facebook. The Canadians had their stuff deleted. Um, it's hard to keep anything up, so right now, Telegram seems to be one of the safest places to post new information, so I will link the People's Convoy Telegram below. Even despite that, there were major attacks and hacks on our Florida groups planning convoys. All the Telegram chats for Florida had to be shut down because all the admins were being kicked out. It was a really crazy situation, but for the most part, there's one main group that I know of now, and it is on mute, and it is just giving out uh, specific information and not letting it get bogged down by a million different comments and bots and trolls and all these things so um there's there's lots of censorship trying to keep us from getting this off the ground but we've just got to try to rise above that and keep pushing forward because nothing's more important than our medical freedom right in addition to that i am going to be heading to washington dc into the belly of the beast and try to bring you the most honest unbiased um live coverage of this event if i can go live on any platforms but i'm going to find a way but i'm going there with a couple friends and we are going to try to give you honest coverage because as we all know the mainstream media will go down there insert a nazi flag call everybody uh you know terrorists and extremists and that will be the end of it so in an effort to give you um a real inside look if any of you followed my work during the George George Floyd protests in Orlando I was down there for eight nights in a row with the with the gas mask and the pepper spray and the everything going on the rubber bullets and I was able to live stream every single night for hours and sort of give you an honest look instead of oh it's just riots oh it's just chaos and that's what the media is gonna do to get a rise out of everyone so my goal is the same thing uh, is to get into DC and to try to give you as much coverage as possible during the um, convoy descending on the State of the Union and the nation's capital. If you would like to support my work and help get me out there and keep Honest Media on the ground, um, I will post a donation link below. I'll be honest, I'm not gonna be using GoFundMe or Give, Send, Go because I just don't know what to trust anymore. So I'm just gonna be posting some uh, a Venmo or a Cash App link below. And if you support independent media and would like to see me get out there and do more things like this, please do consider donating. Um, this is gonna go towards our travel expenses and any you know camera equipment or anything we need to keep the streams going. Uh, in addition to that, any other funds that we collect, we are going to be putting towards gas cards and giving to the truckers. So there's not a whole lot that we can do with um, 
getting food and supplies up there since we're going to be flying. But once we get there, we can put money towards gas cards and give those out to truckers to keep them going, to keep them warm. You no, know, and I've heard a lot of people say, you know, we're playing right into their trap. This is exactly what they want. You know, they're just going to enact martial law or invoke emergency orders. And yes, that may be true. But what else, do, what other choice do we have? We can't lay down and just give up. We can't turn around and just walk away and run and hide. So could it be a trap? Could it be a setup? Could we be looking at another potential, you know, January 6th type thing? Yes, but we always are. I think we're always up against that. And that can't just, that can't equate to, okay, well then let's just turn around and go home then. So we have to still go. And if there's going to be some type of infiltration or PSYOP going on, don't you want honest media on the ground there covering it? Like We Are Change and like the Free Thought Project and these other great groups that are gonna be there showing you the real deal on the ground. So I encourage everyone to rise above the scare tactics, rise above the paranoia. You know, I, I like to call it sometimes people fall into a lane of, of paranoid truthers where it's like, oh, the government controls everything and they're always gonna stop everything. And they, they control a lot of the things a lot of the time, but not everything all the time. I think that's an important thing to remember. So if there's going to be some type of fishy stuff going on, I have even more reason to be there to bring you what's really going on and talk to the people on the ground, show you what the police are doing. All of this information needs to be preserved and there needs to be total transparency. So I really have not seen anything this inspiring, honestly, since Standing Rock. I'm wearing the shirt today, Defend the Sacred. I saw tens of thousands of Native Americans and people from all over the country and world travel to North Dakota during a blizzard and fight for freedom and fight for what's right and fight for those people's land to not be stolen from the government and corporations. And now to see the Canadians stand up in the cold, negative 20 weather against their government for a different type of freedom and to fight against a different type of oppression. It's the biggest movement I've seen and the most inspiring thing I've seen since Standing Rock. So I'm just so proud of all of our Canadian brothers and sisters for standing up. And I just love the ripple effect that it is creating across the world. And it's really has the potential to put the final nail in the coffin on this COVID narrative. So just to recap, we have the drop off location for donations for truckers in Largo, Florida. We have the send off point with the overpass rally in Jacksonville, Florida. Details to these will be posted below. If you can't make it to these and you can't make it to DC, please do consider donating so that I can bring you the coverage from DC on the ground during the trucker convoy. Last but not least, we also have a We Are Change Orlando meetup this coming Sunday at the Healthy Buddha in Mount Dora from 6 to 9 p.m. We'll be talking about the convoy, all things freedom related, and really just come hang out and connect with like-minded individuals. That is at the Healthy Buddha this Sunday from 6 to 9 p.m. I hope to see you all there, and thank you so much for the support.